Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, this time on the water tank, uh, also from Railcraft. So, yeah, uh, what you're going to want to do is create a whole bunch of water tank siding. Uh, it requires wood on top and bottom, then iron on the left and right sides. Uh, you're going to make, you're going to have to use this recipe twice because if you don't, I don't think you'll have enough. Um, so yeah, slime ball, iron ingot, etc, etc. Uh, most people end up putting fences underneath, so just in case if you want to do something like that. Um, and what you're going to do, like with a lot of the rail craft items, uh, it will automatically make a, well, it will make another kind of machine uh, based on how you create the... Th uh, <laughs> sorry. It will create something awesome out of this. So see how I missed out the part in the middle? Now, it doesn't look like much, you know, it's just got a whole bunch of wire wrapped around it and whatnot. If you right click it, look at that, water tank! And it is automatically generating water, even though, like, it's not connected to the water at all. It's just a really nice way of passively creating water. So, say you have those machines that need to be cooled down, this would be a great way in order to, uh, you know, create water in order to, you know, help cool that machine down. Now, if I take a bucket, you can place the bucket here, and when it has enough water, it will fill that bucket. Uh, it may take a while, um, and we're going to put those away. <laughs> oh, you're running around now. Fancy that. Sit. <laughs> right, so are you done yet? Nope, not quite. Uh, keep in mind that while you can take water out of it, and it does generate it passively, uh, what you can do is, okay, I am in creative mode. What you can do is take a bucket of water, you can go over here, right click on it, and um, it will place water inside of it. Now, uh, 1700 is in there already. If you place a bucket in there just like that, you'll get your bucket back. If you have a whole bunch of empty buckets, so give me this. If I middle click on that, there we go, we've got 16. Uh, you can place them like that, and it will slowly drain them all into buckets each time. So at the moment we are down to, what, 32? That's okay. And up to 1,000. So it's about 1,000 per bucket of water, so that's kind of nice. And um, yeah, it just generate it, ah, generates it passively, so it's very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed this nice little tutorial, and I will see you guys later.